Number 28, we're going to tell if the statement is true or false, and if it's false, give a counterexample. So if A is a solution of X is less than 5, so if we've got some number that actually is less than 5, is that number also a solution of X is less than 5 and X is greater than or equal to negative 4? Well, I like to think about a picture. Okay. So if we are less than 5, Are we also a solution of less than 5 and greater than or equal to negative 4? Now, what does that look like? Okay, less than 5 and greater than or equal to negative 4. Greater than or equal to negative 4 goes like this. Until we're less than 5, it looks like that. So basically, if you're in the blue, are you always in the red? And the answer would be no. We'd say this is false. But why? Okay. I mean, if you're 4, yeah, it works. If you're 3, sure. 0, sure. Negative 4, sure. But what if you're way down here in the blue? Okay, let's take negative 100 for an example. It is less than negative 5, but is it, is it also a solution to the red? Is it less than 5 and greater than or equal to negative 4? It's not greater than or equal to negative 4. So we'd say false, and a counterexample really would be any number less than negative 4, I chose to use negative 100.